Something is coming. A fan podcast, 65 million years in the making. Jurassic Park Minute. Now available on iTunes. And visit us at facebook.com slash Jurassic Park Minute. sequel to Jurassic Park, one minute at a time. This week we are discussing Minute 2 of The Lost World, which opens with a, uh, a mysterious shot of Isla Sauna and ends with Mrs. Bowman telling Kathy not to wander off. Today I'm joined by David. How are you, David? Hey, what's up? Not a lot, sir. Not a lot. How have you been? I've been, been good. Been good? Good mm-hmm. to be here. Uh, yes, we are recording back-to-back, so... <laughs> uh, not a lot has happened between the two, apart from some Skype issues or recorder issues. Yeah, good to go. Yep. In the previous minute, we got our first look at Isla Sauna, the cloud-covered island. As the second minute of The Lost World opens, we continue the shot of the island. At one minute and two seconds, text appears on the screen. Isla Sauna, 87 miles southwest, Isla Nubla. At one minute and six seconds, the text disappears. At 1 minute and 10 seconds, the shot changes to sky. At 1 minute and 11 seconds, Universal Pictures appears in a familiar Jurassic Park font. At 1 minute and 12 seconds, the camera begins to pan down and we get a rocky mountain cliff face. Continuing down, we get waves smashing against the rocks. At 1 minute and 20 seconds, the Lost World Jurassic Park appears on screen as waves continue to pound the rocks. At 1 minute and 24 seconds, the font disappears as the camera begins to pan out into the open bay. At 1 minute and 28 seconds, we get a shot of a catamaran anchored in the bay, rocking mildly in the ocean swell. At 1 minute and 32 seconds, a man dressed in a sailor's uniform comes on the screen holding a bottle of champagne. At 1 minute and 36 seconds, a second man comes on the screen and pours that champagne into a glass. At 1 minute and 44 seconds, the man in the uniform carries that glass of champagne over to another man sitting in a sun chair. At 1 minute and 50 seconds, a second man in uniform walks over to a little girl and offers her some food. At 1 minute and 52 seconds, the little girl takes the food and begins to walk down the beach, being harassed by her mother. And this ends the second minute of The Lost World. So, minute two, uh, we get the... uh the same text on screen uh, yes. as, uh, yep, with uh, Isla Sauna. Is it 208 miles west of Costa Rica? Uh, I believe so. Yep. Or 87. 87 miles. 87 southwest of Isla Nublar. Okay. I think it is 208. Yeah, I think it's Jurassic Park the 3. Shot, uh, at the, in the very first shot of the island that we get, always the way the clouds wrapped around the, wrapped around the mountain reminded me of a dinosaur standing on a cliff. Yep. Yeah, it's very mysterious. Yeah. I think it's uh, it's Jurassic Park three where it's I think it's two hundred miles off the coast of Costa Rica, whereas uh, mm-hmm. this one it's uh, how far away we are from Nubla. So just to tie it back to Jurassic Park that little bit more. Um, now there's a lot of contention about the titles in this. Uh, the original Jurassic Park, of course, just being the uh, probably five or six second audio with the uh, thumping and the uh, Jurassic Park being revealed where this is more of a look across sauna, uh, a couple of its beaches, and we'd get the uh, the Lost World Jurassic Park in the font still. <laughs> Some are saying it's a bit of a step back from what we got in the first film. I will always say that the thumping is a lot more iconic, but I think the the kind of moaning that, of the music you get in this makes it more... It feels more the Lost World. It is, yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, you do have that uh, score playing in the background the whole time, and as you said, groaning, which in the novel sauna in Spanish meant groan. Uh, that's what the local fishermen used to describe the island. So it's sort mm-hmm. of that might be a callback. It might be just 
a fan thinking too hard. <laughs> <laughs> but we also we have a shot of a ferry or a boat sitting uh, anchored in the bay, um, mm-hmm. and a family uh, that we learn later is on a yacht cruise, and they've uh, stopped on the island to have a bit of a picnic. Uh, mm-hmm. A very rich family, it seems. Uh, stewards, butlers, and a couple not doing a lot but reading reading the newspaper and everything else. I believe the uh, the boat or the the catamaran we see in the harbour that's the uh, it's used in Hawaii. It was from the Kepakai Beach. Yes, it's uh, it's the same one used later in Jurassic World, isn't it? Approaching. I want to say that one was bigger. Oh, okay. This one was just a. Uh catamaran style yacht yeah i think it was same company same company that run the uh run the ferry today uh we get uh the parents and we get our introduction to kathy not uh being be- a bit of a small brat by the looks of it is there anything and, uh, you want to add about the parents uh the newspaper that uh paul bowman is reading is the uh i want to say the financial times yep and the interesting thing about it is that it was November 1996 issue. Of 97? Oh, 96. No, 96. <laughs> yeah. it, I believe that, and I believe that betrays the month in which that scene was filmed. Yeah, I remember, yeah, so a good seven months before the film was released. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember that brought up some contention at one point between fans of whether or not the film actually took place in 1997. Yeah. Or whether or not it took place in 1996. Based on the new, based on that newspaper, because it's always been assumed by the fans that the movie takes place in which in the month in which it was filmed. Yeah, yeah. Well, I will. Well, we learn in a bonus it's later. Not filmed, released. I'm sorry. Released. Not filmed. Yep. Um, well, there there is the, uh, the the deleted scene of the boardroom where I'm pretty sure Peter Ludlow says uh, two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Um, the family on you like, or Hammond might say it later as well that the uh, family on yacht cruise stumbled on on about two weeks ago. So, yeah, there's no there's no reason to believe this is any further before the uh, events that happen later on on island. But yeah, that's it. That's it. I've never never noticed that before. That uh, the date on the newspaper, but being financial newspaper, it must uh, he must be in some sort of business stocks mm-hmm. stocks and all that. Something like that. Yep. They're never quite clear on in either the book or the uh, the original because this scene was based on uh, the original opening from the first uh, novel. Yes, yes, the uh, the Bowmans on their uh, little trip down into Central America into Costa Rica. Kathy not uh, not as irritating in that, and uh, yeah. Actually, here in the book, her name was Tina. Was it Tina? Was it? Mm-hmm. Yep. Tina Bowman. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, Mike, Mike Bowman was the father. I believe so. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I'm sure someone can correct us on that. <laughs> um, yeah. So, and that that whole scene uh, sort of adds a whole new plot development to Jurassic Park, where uh, animals are getting off the island um, and attacking people on the mainland, but uh, due to arrogance and uh, nearsighting in the computer tallying on the on the, you know, on the animals in Gen and the park crew at Jurassic Park mm-hmm. don't uh, see the problem, but uh, I didn't mind that sub that subplot for Jurassic Park. I'm sh- pity it uh, mm. didn't get into the movie, but uh, we get a retelling of it here, slightly different. But I've always personally hoped for the animals on the mainland plot subplot to uh, have made its way into a future movie sometime here, maybe Jurassic Park Five. Yeah, and. I suppose we'll get to it towards the end with the uh, T Rex in San Diego. A lot of lot of contention about that. Um, yeah. I, I do believe that uh, we do need to see the animals on the mainland at some point. Um, it's probably it's probably a miracle that it hasn't happened already. Um, mm-hmm. There's ways there's ways they could do it. <laughs> so that's about that's about it. Unless you have anything else for this minute. No. No. Okay. All right, guys. Let's get the hell out of here. Contact details are on the website, thelostworldminute.com. You can email feedback to thelostworldminute at gmail.com. Facebook, The Lost World Minute. Twitter, at The Lost World Minute. And Instagram, The Lost World Minute. Easy to remember. Yeah, yep, very easy to remember. (laughs) Uh, David, thank you for joining me. 
for this recording Welcome. for minute two, and uh, we'll be back. I've been Brad. I'm Dave. And uh, we'll talk to you all later. Goodbye. Talk to you later. Bye. It is absolutely imperative that we work with the Costa Rican Department of Biological Preserves to establish a set of rules for the preservation and isolation of that island. These creatures require our absence to survive, not our help. And if we could only step aside and trust in nature, life will find a way.